In this unit, we're going to take a look at trimming and extending elements. In order to do so, we've actually got three different trim and extend tools. We've got trim and extend to corner, trim and extend single element, and trim and extend multiple elements. I'm going to start off looking at this one on the left here, which is trim and extend to corner. So I've just set up some uh, sections of wall here and also a couple of detail lines in order to demonstrate the use of this tool. So let's start with this pair of walls here. Let's say we want to trim those neatly to a corner. Hit trim to corner, or you can use the keyboard shortcut TR, and it's simply two clicks, one on each of the elements. So it doesn't matter which you start with. Click the first one, click the second one, and the trim and extend is performed. Now let's do it again with this pair of walls. Now I've just said it doesn't matter which order you click the walls on, so whether you want to start with this wall or that wall. What does matter though is where on the wall you click. And I'll show you that what I mean by that now. So let's say we want to trim that wall to this wall and be left with this L shape here. We need to ensure that when we click on this wall, either first or second, that we're clicking in this portion here, i.e. below the line. So the golden rule is click on the portion that you want to keep, not on the portion that you want to delete. So if, for example, I was to click there and up here, it's actually taken away the bit I wanted to, to keep. So let's just undo that. Trim and extend to corner. I want to keep this section down here, so I need to click on it and then on the second wall. And there it trims and extends the corner accordingly. The second trim and extend tool is the trim and extend single element. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. So a typical scenario, you've got a wall here and you need to extend this wall up to meet it. This is when you would use this command here, trim and extend single element. Select the tool. Now, the order is important. First click is going to be on the element that you want to extend to. So we want to extend this wall up to this one. So I'm going to click on this wall. You can see as I hover over the wall, it's picking up different references. In the case of walls, it makes no difference where you click on there. Revit knows these are two walls, so it knows how to tidy them up correctly. So it doesn't really matter where you pick on there. So don't worry about that. All that's important is that you click somewhere on this wall first and not this wall. So we want to extend to this wall. And this is the wall we want to extend. So click on there and the wall is extended and tidied up accordingly. Now it is a trim and extend tool. So it will trim walls back to a trimming plane as well. So let's activate that again. We want to trim to this wall and this is the wall we want to trim. Now remember, we're clicking on the portion that we want to keep, not on the piece that we want to delete. So I'm going to click down here and the wall is trimmed back accordingly. And the final trim and extend tool we're going to look at is this trim and extend multiple elements. So just set up some walls here to demonstrate the use of that tool. So we want to extend and trim these elements here to this long diagonal wall. So go ahead and activate the trim and extend multiple. I'm going to first of all select what I want to trim and extend to, which is, as we've said, this long wall here. So click on there again. Doesn't matter exactly where you click on it, as long as you click somewhere to tell it that's the wall in question. And now we can click each of these and you can see it's trimming it and extending. However, a much quicker way of doing this is doing a fence. And we can do a fence around all the elements in question and it will trim and extend all of those in one operation. 
And that completes this unit. To get the most out of this training material, please take the complete course online at bimscape.com. Here you will find a complete learning management system that allows you to work through the course at your own pace. Comprehensive written tutorials provide additional information to that found in the training videos. Mark each unit as complete as you finish it and move on to the next. At any point you can return to any of the units you have previously completed to go over the material again. If you'd like to take this course online, please visit www.bimscape.com forward slash Revit for details.